Uh, over to you, Peter. Let's talk about this uh, awful crossbow killing yesterday. Now, there's been a lot of calls. Uh, this guy, Kyle Clifford, is uh, only the suspect still, uh, was uh, uh, arrested or found in a cemetery after sh uh, shooting, uh, allegedly shooting to death with a crossbow. A mum and his ex-girlfriend and her sister at their home in Bushy, uh, the family of uh, racing uh, commentator John Hunt, very well-known guy. Uh, now he's in hospital. Now a lot of people are saying, well, you know, crossbows. We've got to crack down on crossbows. This is appalling. Well, what I thought I might ask you. I mean, it's the difficulty of domestics, isn't it? Uh, I had a copper on last night, and he just said, look, you know, yes, of course, it might be better if it was more difficult to get hold of crossbows. But if you're intent on killing someone, he said there are about fifty murder weapons in everybody's kitchen. So in a way, just saying, let's crack down on crossbows. It won't stop this kind of incident because it's a domestic and a domestics are very difficult to deal with aren't they the problem is men we have far too many women in this country being slaughtered week after week after week the figures are appalling and utterly unacceptable but i think it starts at what i would say a, a different kind of level because i bump into young women every day of the week through work and I am forever hearing stories of harassment, assault on the tube, on the buses as they're walking down the street. I think there is a general unacceptable level of dreadful behaviour towards women and I think it escalates and escalates. It's not stopped, it's not deterred and tragically in many cases it ends up like in this appalling case with murder. And all the pictures start coming out today of that poor family, poor Mr Hunt. Uh, what a terrible, terrible, terrible thing to happen. It really touches the heart, it really does. And I need to ask you something else, talking of men. Uh, you'll love this one if you haven't already heard. Uh, our friend, uh, the uh, double child rapist and killer, Colin Pitchfork, who uh, a few years back, uh, two, three years back, was released after a long period in jail, more than 30 years. Uh, by the way, let's just lay out what he did. Uh, he took two schoolgirls, uh, raped them, and uh, in his car, not very, and killed them. And in his car, not very far away, was his own baby asleep in the back seat. So this is the kind of guy we're talking about. So the parole board several years ago saw fit to let him out. About few, three weeks later, he's found hanging around outside a girls' school, so he was returned to prison, where of course he should stay. Guess what? He's got another parole hearing. For God's sake, and it's going to be in private. The public don't have a right to know, apparently. Uh, why don't we just put that guy in the key in the uh, cell, lock the door, and then throw the key away? Indeed. Let me just remind viewers and listeners: these were separate offences. There was years yeah. gap between the raping yeah. and murdering of two teenage girls. The parole hearing is—it's ludicrous to even think that he's having yet another parole hearing. This man should never be eligible for parole or release. He is such a monster that he should never be on the streets of Britain again. The parole hearing was originally scheduled to be a public one so that victims' families could attend, hear it throughout and the decision. Mm. Now that because of recent allegations have been made in relation to Pitchfork, we know not what those allegations are, but the parole board, in all its fluffy, wokey, liberal, nonsensical wisdom, has decided to hold this in private. The families will be able to attend certain segments of this hearing, but not all of it. Open justice? I don't think so. And there, that is how it's going to play out. And goodness only knows what a decision might, they might arrive it's at. Ju it's just ridiculous. What do you think, Isabel? It's I'm just, just absurd, just isn't it? Of, of course, I think a lot of people's minds will be going to wearing, thinking, what is it that they could be trying to hide here? I mean, of course, I'm not asking you because you can't possibly know in this case, but what kind of thing might be they trying to hide from the public? Well, they say they're fairly recent allegations. 
is this stuff that he's done in prison since he's been returned to jail? Why shouldn't we know? My, is my it guess is it, that he's done when he had that brief period on parole. Maybe. It's favouring him against the public, and that is wrong. Uh, Completely. Uh, we're going to have to go now. But Peter, thank you very much. Uh, thank Peter Blexley, their former Met detective, excellent as usual.